Wisconsin Fish Stories. Alfred Lord Tennyson wrote, In the spring a young man's fancy lightly turns to thoughts of love. But in much of Wisconsin, once the lakes thaw and some men's and women's thoughts turn to sports fishing, particularly on the first Saturday in May, which signals the opening of fishing season. Sports fishing has a significant impact on the economy of Wisconsin. A recent report from 2020 by the American Sports Fishing Association states that 1.9 million sports fishers spend $1.5 billion in Wisconsin, $2.3 billion including fishing-related expenditures, and provided about 13,500 jobs. Some well-known national figures have tried their luck angling in Wisconsin waters. President Calvin Coolidge set up his summer White House here in 1928 so that he could trout fish on the Brule River. He stayed at the Cedar Lake Lodge owned by his friend Henry Clay Pierce. Future President Herbert Hoover visited him there. It was a cool relationship and they fished in separate canoes. However, Hoover did return to fish Wisconsin's waters at a later date. Approximately a decade later, in 1946, after the end of World War II, future President Dwight D. Eisenhower tried his luck angling near Minocqua, returning in 1948 and again after his presidency in 1965 and 1967. In the 1960s, he was honored by the Lac de Flambeau Ojibwe in a ceremony where they adopted him as an honorary tribal member. Baseball legend Ted Williams and CBS News broadcaster Edward R. Murrow also casted lines in Wisconsin waters. Many Ojibwe in northern Wisconsin quickly adapted to tourists seeing an opportunity to earn money as fishing guides. In the years between the World Wars and after World War II, nearly every male Ojibwe at Lac de Flambeau spent some time as a, as a paid guide. The work they began at 8 a.m. and involved preparing bait and gear, rowing and or motoring the boat, and cleaning the fish. The going rate was $5 a day. Important to each outing was the shore lunch, where the guide would prepare a meal of, fresh, of the fresh morning's catch, fried in lard, fried potatoes with bacon, and boiled coffee. Louis Saint-Germain, a Lac de Flambeau Ojibwa, acted as a guide for Dwight Eisenhower, Ted Williams, burlesque entertainer Gypsy Rose Lee, and many other visitors to the Northwoods. He he was very well known in the region, and his knowledge and skills led in 1982-1983 to his induction into the Freshwater Fishing Hall of Fame and Museum in Hayward for his work as a guide for 50 years. Small business owners profited from those attracted by the prospects of landing a trout or muskie, walleye, or bass in the many lakes and streams of the North Woods. In addition to guides for hire and stores selling supplies, family-owned rental cottages were abundant. Roads were few and often in poor repair in northern Wisconsin in the late 19th century, and the tourism industry was not yet a major part of the economy. The influx of tourists was spurred by the extension of a network of rail lines that proliferated in the early 20th century. In one example, from 1917 to 1950, the Chicago and Northwestern Railroad ran fishermen specials from Chicago to northern Wisconsin, to the Cisco chain of lakes and Woodruff, and to Lake Gojibik in the Michigan Upper Peninsula at the state line where they operated a resort. From May 1st until Memorial Day, and again from Labor Day until October 1st, these trains ran only on weekends. But, 
but from Memorial Day to Labor Day, they operated daily except Mondays. The train left Chicago in the early evening and arrived at the lakes by early morning. They brought fishermen north and took them home with a special refrigerated section in the baggage car for trophy fish. The state had long recognized the importance of fishing to the economy and made efforts to maintain good fishing stock. Lakes and rivers of north central Wisconsin were stocked with fish raised as fingerlings near Madison and transported in grand style in specially designed railroad cars to be unloaded and used in northern waters. The University of Wisconsin-Madison has long maintained a research facility at Trout Lake in Vilas County to conduct research in limnology. The idiom gone fishing describes a person who is unaware of the world around him or her. But fishing is a big business in Wisconsin and a serious matter as anyone who has ever wet a line in our many lakes and rivers will attest.